right. Good morning, everybody. Got the wife's car nicely washed up for. And I did wash the truck yesterday, and it turns out that I drove down to the shop and got it all muddy again, but that's all right. That's what this truck's for. This truck is meant to be used. It is no trailer princess. It is no mall crawler. This is a real truck, and we're going to use it as that. And I'm just loving the look. Definitely drop in the comments. What do you guys think of the red stars? That's just kind of something that I wanted to add to this truck. I am going to put a little bit more red in the wheels just to kind of make this all make a little bit more sense. But it definitely goes with our added detail here on the sport hood, and I think it looks absolutely awesome. And I'm just loving the stance that this truck has with the negative 18s. As you can see, they do not stick out the side. I won't have any issues with inspection. I'm not really one for those tires that stick way out the side of the truck and then sling mud and everything all over the truck every time you go through a puddle. And it's really just not a look that I care for. Honestly, I don't know, maybe I'm showing my age, but this is kind of what I've always seen this truck as. And that's why we went this way with it. So now that we got our wheels, tires, lift kit, everything is on, it's time to go down to the shop and add one more thing that this truck was missing. And as you can see, we have no light for our tire monitor because I did go in with the Taser DT, swapped out our tire monitor level to 45 PSI. And I also set our tire size for the new 35s. So now we have an accurate speedometer and no more lights on the dash. And I've had to climb the hill here a couple times just to test out the mud tires. And as you can see, they are gripping really, really nice. And just on a little side note, who remembers these table hockey games? When I was a kid, this was like one of the most fun things ever. A bunch of my friends had them. I never actually had my own, but I did definitely play them quite a bit. And I was at the auction, I saw this come up, and I just had to grab it. Best 15 bucks I ever spent. So some of you out there might be wondering, what are we gonna be changing to the truck today? And that's something that has actually bothered me about this truck since the day that I bought it. And that is these factory steps. Now, if I were to have ordered this truck, I probably would have ordered without steps because then I could have gotten whatever I wanted. And I do like the off-road style ones that they do sell from the factory, but they're extremely expensive and way overpriced in my opinion. My problem with these steps is they're not really all that wide. And especially now that the truck is a little higher, I'm gonna be using the steps a whole lot more. And you can see, there's really not a whole lot of room that your foot fits on it. And if this were wet or something like that, you could very easily slip off. And I don't like how it just has the pad in front of the doors. On some of the other models, they actually had them all the way across with this kind of grip pad, but these ones don't have that. And I mean, they are a nice finish. This kind of all matches the whole Rebel theme, but all in all, I think it's time for a change. So let's see what we got. So over here in front of the truck, which we almost ran over coming in, but we do have these brand new steps from Weston. And these ones are more of kind of a rugged off-road style. They actually have a rock slider on it. So we do some off-road stuff. We're not gonna be worrying about rocks or anything like that coming up and hitting our rocker panel or damaging our steps. These ones are super heavy duty. So let's get this truck up on the lift, get them out of the box and see what we got. All right, so first thing, we're gonna remove our factory boards. All we gotta do is get a 13 millimeter socket, remove the nine nuts from either side, and then we can get these out of the way and make room for our new ones. So now in the box, we have Got our box of hardware. We got everything unboxed and here it is. 
Just look at that finish. We've got a box line finish on these, so you do have lots of grip. We've got some holes for drainage. We've got the Weston badge in the middle. And best part of all, look at the bottom of these things. You've got this massive rock slider on the bottom. And these are super heavy duty. I would say they probably weigh about twice as much as your factory ones, but definitely gonna give you some protection for your truck. Now we're gonna get our box open up here for our hardware. So now we got all our hardware kind of just laid out here on the bench. We're gonna grab one of these brackets here, put the carriage bolt through. Then we have our carriage bolt, our flat washer, our lock washer, our nut, and we're just gonna leave these finger tight for now. And it's gonna look just like that. So I've got the driver's side board just kind of loosely in place. And the instructions weren't the greatest as far as just kind of telling you which bracket goes where, side for side, all that kind of thing. So I just kind of played around until I came up with this. Looks like our straight bracket is on the front on both sides, so that works out well. And then on the passenger side in the center, I have this bracket with the bend kind of going that way. And the rear, it goes the opposite way from what I can tell. Really gonna be able to see once I get the board up to this one to make sure everything is right. But the one on the driver's side, definitely everything fit. As you can see, the rear one, we've got the bracket kind of going with the bend towards the front. And then the middle one kind of goes towards the back and then like we said, we got the straight one on the front, and yeah, it all seems to fit. So I think what we're gonna have to do now is just get the passenger side on, make sure everything is happy, and then just kind of straighten everything out, make sure everything's level, and then we can tighten it up. All right, so both boards are on the truck. They're still loose, I gotta torque everything down. But a couple of tips, I would put the hardware so the nuts are facing the rear of the vehicle, just so any kind of dirt, salt, all that kind of thing isn't gonna get kind of driven into that nut. So if you ever have to take them off, it's not gonna be all seized up. And also you wanna put your bracket in the front of where the board goes on. It's just gonna center it up. So you can see that we have a bracket in the front on this side and we have the bracket in the front over here and that's gonna give you enough clearance on the front like this. And then in the back, it's gonna make the board go far enough back that you can really protect this cab corner. So now basically all we gotta do is just level up the boards, tighten everything up, torque it all to spec, and drive it outside and see what these things look like. So we got our boards nicely torqued up. The top is 18 foot-pounds and the bottom is 38 foot-pounds. And my suggestion is to tighten up and level your board on the bottom first. Mine, I did put them to the farthest setting towards the outside of the vehicle, just so I have as much of that board sticking out as possible when I get out, so I'm not gonna slip off. And then you can tighten up the top part and make sure that all your brackets are nice and straight and you should be good to go. everybody our brand new steps are installed and I really like the way that these fit with the body lines you can see everything kind of nicely lines up with everything as it tapers from the front to the back and we do have this nice grippy surface on here so when you go to get in and you place your foot on the board you can step with confidence that your foot's not going to slide around I just got one foot on here trying to move my foot around it is gripping to the surface really really nicely and one thing with the plastic ones if they were wet or anything like that I really didn't have that kind of confidence that my foot wasn't going to slip off or something like that and especially with the kids I think a board like this is going to be a whole lot nicer and easier for them to use but now as you can see we have mud all over our tires these boards are a little bit dirty for my shoes and just kind of from the installation process I got mud all over the wheel wells just from driving down here because yeah, basically the rain allows all this mud to come down and then makes everything a big mess. So I think we're gonna go up the hill, test the four x four out on this truck because we gotta clean these tires out anyway. And then we'll head to the car wash, get this thing cleaned up and we'll be good to go once again. <laughs> this tire here is pretty well packed. So, well, let's have a little bit of fun with it.
So there you have it, everybody. The install on these steps. Definitely drop in the comments. What do you guys think of these? I think they look absolutely awesome. And also, we got to play a little bit in the mud. So hopefully, we'll have a whole lot more of that coming up very, very soon. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And as always, keep that hammer down.